continue to talk about sampling techniques. This time we're going to talk about stratified sampling. And last time we talked about SRS, or simple random sampling. We're going to use that in our stratified sampling. Now this is not called SS, it's just stratified sampling. I've got the same population as last time. Let's say these are my dog walkers or my boaters, whatever they may be. And I still want a sample size of, mm, this time let's say I want a sample size of 12. Okay, so what I end up doing in stratified sampling is I want an equal or close to an equal amount of people from each group of people. So the first thing I need to do is group these people. So I'm going to put all of my blue guys over here, and I'm going to put all of my red ladies over here. This will take a couple minutes to do, but what I'm doing is I am putting them into groups and I'm grouping them by some kind of characteristic. In this case, I'm grouping them by color and the way that they look. And I hope that doesn't sound like I'm discriminating against anybody or profiling or anything. That's not what I'm looking to do here. I'm just grouping them by a characteristic, and the characteristic that I decided to go with is the way that they look. Almost finished here. Take all of these and move them down a little bit. Move this guy up here with his group. And there we go. Now, each one of these groups is called a strata. So this would be my blue guy strata, this would be my black guy strata, this would be my red girl strata. Each one is a strata, they are grouped by some kind of characteristic. So I have stratified them or put them into strata. Now comes the time when I use SRS, simple random sampling. I want to get four people from the blue strata, four people from the black strata, and four people from the red strata so that I can create my sample size of 12. Well, if I use SRS, what I then do is number each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 from my blue. And I number these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I also number the girls here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I skip over one? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I numbered too many here. Let me start that over. Nothing wrong with making mistakes. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then here's number 10. I would then use SRS for each group. I don't want to use the same numbers for each group, so I want to use SRS for the blue group. And I would choose, let's say the numbers that came up for the first group were the numbers two, so I'm going to interview this guy, seven, I'm going to interview this guy, five, so I'm going to interview this guy, and ten, interview this guy. Now I'm not finished with my sample because I want a sample size of 12, so I've got four from this strata. Then I go over to the black strata, or the, the, black, the, the group of black uh, characters. So here we go. I would use SRS again, and the numbers that come up are 7, so I'm interview him, and 4, and I interview him, 10, I'm going to interview him, and then 7 comes up again. Now do I interview 7 again? No, I just skip over that number. It would be pointless to interview number 7 a second time. So I continue to randomly generate numbers or draw numbers out of a hat for SRS, and the next number that comes up is 1. So I'm going to interview this guy. Well, I've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 people for my sample size. Now I go to my red group or my red strata, and I use SRS to get four more people or randomly choose four more people from this group. And in this group, I get number 3, so I interview her, number 9, 
I interview her. Number 10, I interview her. Number three comes up again, so I skip it. And then number six comes up, so I interview her. And I have now got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 people for my interview. And I have a sample size of 12. Simple random sampling is used for each group. Each group is called a strata, and that is stratified sampling.